As many of us realize, there are a lot of things going on in the country, most pressingly right now, the Michael Brown case in Missouri. Many people want answers to what they've seen via video. And here at IC Call Live TV, we're going to try to get a little bit more insight. We have an ex-military trainer, Levon, here, who's going to give us some type of insight to exactly what's going on in Missouri. Lee, exactly how did you first hear about the Michael Brown incident? Sunday the news broke for me via Facebook. I got a notification on Twitter as to what was going on. And I saw the screen uh, on the bottom of MSNBC. Lee, I, I have to ask you, what do you think the final outcome is going to be from the situation? Hopefully, I think this will be a huge wake-up call. There are examples where the city of New York has actually issued a letter to all of their officers recently saying to them that it is not illegal for citizens to take them. And they cannot confiscate those photograph or video devices if they are being taped. In California, there's an example where, I forget the city, but they've recently issued all their officers vests which include a camera. Since they've done that, in the year they've done that, complaints and excessive force claims have gone down dramatically. I hope that while this may not be the answer for every locality, I hope that this is the path that most localities will start to look at. And yeah, but in this era that we're in right now, we don't have to only depend on mass media. We also have the social media, the advent of social media where everyone can post a video immediately, a post an opinion, where we aren't just waiting for the next day press to find out the story. What is that doing for cases like this? Is this aiding? Is it helping? Is it, what is exactly, in your opinion, is social media doing for cases like this? Because of Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Vine, you're able now to get information that's not filtered out quickly. And that is what's been missing. Because obviously, when you talk about mainstream media, it's corporate media. And those messages will always be tailored. So yes, this, this is definitely, I don't think it's making things more murky. I think it's actually bringing things to, to light that have been put. As things continue to unveil in Missouri, investigations will be done investigations will be completed. But one of the things that's always most compelling in any investigation... Me and my uh, friend, we was walking down the street, in the middle of the street, and we wasn't causing any harm to nobody. Uh, we had no weapons on us at all. We just walking, having a uh, conversation. No cars were blowing at us or honking at us like we was uh, holding up traffic or anything like that. Uh, now, a police officer squad car pulled up, and when he pulled up, these was his exact words. He said, get the F on the sidewalk. And we told the officer we was not but a minute away from our destination, and we was shortly be out the street. We was having a conversation, and uh, he went about his way for about one or two seconds as we continued to walk. And then he reversed his uh, truck, his car, and in a manner to where it almost hit us, and it blocked both lanes off the way he uh, turned his car. So he pulled up on the side of us. He tried to thrust his door open, but we were so close to it that it ricocheted off us and it bounced back to him. And I guess that, you know, uh, got him a little upset. And at that time, he reached out the window. He didn't get out the car. He just reached his arm out the window and grabbed my friend around his neck and was trying to, as he was trying to choke my friend, and he was trying to get away, and the officer then reached out, and he grabbed his arm to pull him into the car. So now it's like the officer's pulling him inside the car, and he's trying to pull away. And at no time, the officer said that uh, he was going to do anything until he pulled out his weapon. His weapon was drawn, and he said, I'll shoot you, or I'm going to shoot. And in the same moment, the first shot went off. And we looked at him. He, he was shot, and it was blood coming from him. And we took off running. And as we took off running, I ducked and hid for my life because I was feared for my life. And I hid by the first car that I saw. My friend, he kept running. And he told me to keep running because he feared for me too. So as he was running, the officer uh, was trying to get out of the car. And once he got out the car, he uh, he pursued my friend, but his, his weapon was drawn. Now, he didn't see any weapon drawn at him or anything like that, us going for no weapon. His weapon was already drawn when he got out the car. He shot again, and once my friend felt that shot, he turned around and he put his hands in the earth. And he started to get down, but the officer still approached with his weapon drawn, and he fired several more shots. And my friend died. And as we close out, we want to thank our special expert guest that came on, Lee Vaughn, for his commentary and a little insight into tactical training. This is Jermaine Johnson signing off for IC Color Live.